Hey guys, how are you today? Happy Monday? Well, it wasn't such a happy Monday for me. <laughs> I woke up and this dog, my sweet dog named Kinnick, named after the Kinnick Stadium, Stadium of Iowa football. Um, he's only three years old and he was acting very, very sick. He would not eat, he would not drink, and he kept drooling and drooling. I knew he was really sick. So he loves to play toys. He wanted, I bought him a new toy, um, oh, a little while ago and I just gave it to him. He didn't care about it. And then, you know how when you, you blow bubbles, you know, little kids like to play bubbles. Well, he loves to chase bubbles. Well, he wouldn't, he didn't care. He didn't care about the bubbles. Um, I, I tried everything, treats, everything, even a piece of turkey, nothing. He was so sick. If he'd stand, his head would hang down and he would just lay. So I laid with him on the floor and just prayed with him and prayed with him and pet him and brushed him and brushed him. And just finally I decided he's not going to get better. So I called one vet. They couldn't get him in until Thursday. And I'm like, no way. So I called another vet and um, they said you could come in. We had to wait in the parking lot for like 90 minutes because that parking lot was full of pets and you have to go in with a mask and you wait in the car till it's your turn. Um, thankfully, I was with my sister and she has air in her car. Mine does not have air. So thank God this poor dog didn't have to sit out and without air. So he was just getting sicker and sicker. I kept having to wipe drool off his mouth and um, finally they let us come in and to be honest, I have no idea what he must have got into something. So I, you know, told her and she said, well, the minimum we can do today is give him a shot, um, a syringe of a, uh, something for anti-nausea because she could tell he was really nauseous. And she said, if you want to do that and then just wait till tomorrow, see how he's feeling. And then she said, well, we could give him some blood work. So I said, okay. And then an x-ray because... You know, he could have got into a 4th of July something. He could have ate, he could have ate something bad. I'm not going to lose this dog. He's like my child. You know, all my dogs are. So after the x-rays and the blood work and the shots and the, all that good stuff, um, his x-rays were good. It showed like a little, it looked like a little gas in his stomach, but she said it wasn't tender. They pushed on his stomach and uh, anyhow, um, she said that the, the medicine would start working with it for, within an hour. Oh, and he had a fever of 104, and I guess 102 is average for a dog. Um, if you're bored with this right now, please just don't watch it. But if you're interested, I'm almost done. <laughs> um, so we, we got him some antibiotics. Um, she sent home some food, that royal cane and that really good stuff, and uh, some probiotics to sprinkle on it to get him to eat it because the dogs really like the taste. So when I got him home, um, he still was, you could tell he still didn't feel very good, but then, and he went over to his water dish and he didn't touch it. And I know he had to be thirsty, but a little bit later he started taking a little, little bit of water and I fed him a little bit of that food and gave him his antibiotic. He did, he did well with that. Um, he seems a little more perkier now. I'm not getting him to play. I'm going to keep him to rest, but the only bad thing she says, if he vomits tonight or tomorrow, I have to take him to the emergency vet because then that's something really bad like a blockage so just say a little prayer for my dog Kinnick he, you would love him they loved him there in fact the vet asked asked us me and my sister she said when uh if you have to bring him back or when you bring him back to uh for anything get his shots or whatever she goes let me be the one let me be the vet that takes care of him they loved him there she said that um Usually with dogs, they muzzle him when they take x-rays because, you know, dogs get scared. But she said they didn't have to muzzle him. He was so sweet. He loved it there. He, he, he was a ham. He's shaking hands with everybody. They loved him. And he's a very good boy. He's a part Great Pyrenees and part Black Lab. Um, he's small, though. I had a Pyrenees that was 130 pounds. He's only, he was only 74 pounds, which, but he's young. And active. So anyway, so far so good, guys. He's doing good. He says to tell you hello. <laughs> Have a great night, guys. Bye-bye.